Well, hello, this is Mr. Anger. We are going to look at chemistry, case 1123. And um, I'm actually sitting here on a Monday night making uh, these videos. I'm trying to make videos using this new iPad that uh, some of you helped me buy, and I appreciate that. I uh, installed a new program that I'm trying to use and figure out um, there's a lot of steps involved. So, for instance, I was looking through this, just the first few pages of the pace and thought, oh, I need to talk about that, I should explain that. Um, sometimes they give more information than they need to, and it's kind of confusing. You think, oh, do I have to know this? So, um, uploading success, okay, all right. So, literally, what I have to do is create a PowerPoint using pictures that I scan from the pace. And then after I create the PowerPoint, I save it as a PDF, and then I go into the iPad and use a program called Explain Everything, and then I have to import the PDF. But then the cool thing is I can use my handy-dandy pen and write on the screen while I'm talking. And uh, so you don't see my face, which maybe that's a good thing, right? And uh, you see some of the graphs and charts and things in the pace, and I can explain it while we go. So I'm going to try it. It's um, creating it's really a lot more effort on my part, and uh, but I think once I get the hang of it and get a rhythm going, it should go a little faster. I hope. Just <clears throat> from what I'm seeing so far, okay, especially in this third pace. The first two paces I think were pretty easy. Do you agree? They weren't. They weren't too bad. This one's going to have a lot more math. Okay, um, there's a lot more new concepts, but what I am noticing is that when you actually go to the activity pack <clears throat> and you have to record answers from your reading, the answers in here are kind of easy, kind of light compared to what you have read, okay? And just remember, as you're reading, if you don't understand something, I would encourage you to read it two, three times. Try to understand it. Watch the videos that I'm making. But um, just make sure that you can at least answer the questions in the pace. All right? And uh, then, so obviously, when you get to the checkups, they'll even filter down some of the things that you had in the preceding pace, pages and uh, focus on what you really need to know. Um... The problems <clears throat> that you have to solve throughout this pace and throughout the rest of them as well. In the score key, there are, uh, generally speaking, there will always be all the steps shown. So a good idea to do is when you, uh, you know, show your work on your pace, when you go to score, even if you don't have the exact same answer, Look at the steps and compare it to your work to see where you went off the rails, okay? See if you're really close. Maybe it was just significant figures or you didn't round it right or something. And don't be too hard on yourself. If that happens, great. You got the hardest part. You did the problem solving correctly. Okay? Give yourself a pat on the back. Um, in most cases, you're just following a formula. Sometimes we have to use unit conversions. And maybe they give it to you in, I don't know, Fahrenheit, and they say convert it to Celsius or to Kelvin before you solve the problem. So you have to follow the formulas to do that. All right. So anyways, this video is just a little introduction to this pace. The first few pages in the pace are about um, solids, liquids, and gases. I don't need to make a video about that. I think you understand that concept pretty well. But then the next section about heat and temperature, I created a video for that. And I'm getting ready to do one about specific heat, and uh, we'll get them uploaded. Give me some feedback. Let me know if these are helpful at all, and uh, if you want me to continue doing it, um, <clears throat> go to paysuccess.net, use the comment form at the top of the page, and uh, let me know if there's some other questions you have that we didn't cover or you wish we had a video on it. Let me know that as well. I'm just doing this to help you out, guys, all right? So I'm not getting paid for this. I have a new toy to play with, which I appreciate, and it's kind of fun, and uh, it's gratifying to hear from you and know that these videos are helpful. All right, keep going. You are going to do this. Together, you are going to be successful in chemistry this year.